Yes, that's the diagnosis. Tiara, you're correct. That's the diagnosis. What's the answer? Yes. Yes, Shashank, you're correct. Okay. The diagnosis here, the moment you see something like this, one of the first things that should come to your head is Addison's, okay? This patient has Addison's. The most common, the, in 90% of the patients, their complaint is going to be abdominal pain, okay? These GI symptoms, basically. In 90% of the patients, they will complain of abdominal pain. Now, before we go and look at what happens in this case, before we read the case, let's take a look at what happens in Addison's. In Addison's, the entire adrenal gland is nuked. It's not working. Okay? So, zona glomerulosa, fasciculata, and the uh, reticularis, they will be hypofunctioning. What is the outermost layer going to produce? Glomerulosa? Remember GFR. There's another mnemonic. Mineral corticoids. Yes. If you go, sweet it gets. Okay, this is going to produce aldosterone. Now we have low aldosterone. So what about the sodium level? No. Low. What about the potassium levels? Hi. Hi. And there's also going to be metabolic acidosis. Wait, don't write that. For fasciculata, that's not really going to be a main presenting symptom. For fasciculata, cortisol. There's going to be low glucose. There's going to be hypotension because of the loss of alpha-1 vasoconstriction. Okay? We have discussed this. So hypotension is going to occur from two places, low aldosterone and low cortisol. Finally, there's going to be low androgens. So these are the symptoms. And from these, you can tell the answer. Is there hyponatremia? There's hypernatremia, not hyponatremia. But there's hyperkalemia. Okay? Now, all of these are low. But something is trying to uh, push the gland to produce these hormones. What is that something? Something is trying to push the gland to work. What is that something? A hormone is coming and trying to stimulate the adrenal cortex to produce hormones. What is that hormone? You guys know it. Right? No, ACTH. No, ACTH. ACTH is, okay. No. Yeah, there's going to be, ACTH is coming. More and more are coming, but the gland is not working. So it's going to keep bringing more. What's going to happen with this high ACTH? Hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation. Remember that uh, precursor molecule pro opiomelanocortin, which breaks down into uh, endorphins, ACTH. And one more thing I can't remember. Now let's take a look at this case. 
patient has syncopal episodes in the last three days. What is this? Hypotension. 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 She began to feel increasingly fatigued and weak. For the past two weeks, she had anorexia, anorexia, nausea, and abdominal pain. This is how you will get a case. They will always say abdominal pain. Okay, just remember that. Patient medical history is unremarkable. She takes no medicine. Wine, all of these, they're all fine. Blood pressure is 86 by 52 millimeters of mercury. Respirations are normal. Abdomen is mildly tender with otherwise normal findings. The skin shows hyperpigmentation in the palma creases. Okay. These are the uh, clues that tells you this is Addison's. And from there, you need to know what are the manifestations. Abdominal pain is due to what? Uh, okay. So that is actually the main presenting symptom. They don't. Give me a second. They ne never really tell the reason why. I will try to find the reason. Try the next question. Um, so before this class also, I was trying to find the reason for the abdominal pain. I could not find it. 